Today, we have an air fryer that's completely dead. It's not turning on at all, and none of the lights are working. We're going to repair it step by step and see what's causing the issue. Remember, this repair method works not just for this particular model, but for almost all types of air fryers. So if your air fryer has stopped working or won't power on, this guide will help you bring it back to life. Let's start by opening it up carefully. First, we'll take out the cooking tray and set it aside so we have a clean workspace. A very important thing to know, most technicians open air fryers the wrong way, usually from the front or bottom, which can damage the outer shell or the clips inside. In this video, I'll show you the correct and safe method to open it without breaking any parts. We'll begin by removing the two front knobs. One is for the thermostat and the other is for the timer. Hold each knob gently and pull it off. They usually come off without much force. Now, we'll use a thin knife or a small flat tool to carefully unlock the body from the side. We'll start from the left side. Go slowly and don't use too much pressure because the side locks can easily snap if forced. Once the first lock comes loose, continue along the edge to release the rest. It takes a bit of patience, but this way, you avoid any cracks or damage. There we go, one side has come off smoothly. Now let's move to the other side and do the same. Once all the clips are released, the upper compartment starts to loosen up. Gently lift the top cover while making sure no wires are still connected between the two parts. Usually, a bit of glue or adhesive is applied along the seam, so lift it slowly. If it feels tight, use a little side-to-side -side motion instead of forcing it open. Before completely removing the top cover, double-check that both knobs are fully detached. Now the top section should lift off easily. And there we go. All the locks are intact. Nothing is broken. That's a good sign because once you're done repairing, everything will fit back together perfectly. We'll keep the top cover aside and focus on the inner compartment. To remove it safely, I like to insert a thin plastic card or piece of cover under the edge. This prevents scratches while lifting it. Slowly lift it up from the bottom, and it should start coming off smoothly. The most common reason air fryers stop working is a burnt thermal fuse. When the temperature inside the fryer exceeds its safety limit, the fuse opens and cuts off power. This prevents overheating and possible fire. It's a tiny component, but it's the main protection system for your appliance. So, if your fryer suddenly dies while cooking, the thermal fuse is usually the culprit. And yes, there it is, the compartment is out, and all the internal clips are completely safe and undamaged. Next, let's move toward the heater and control area. Here, you'll find four Phillips screws. We'll remove these one by one using a screwdriver. Be careful around this section, because we also have neon indicator bulbs attached here. These bulbs are fragile, and their wires can break easily if pulled roughly. Now that all four screws are removed, gently separate the upper assembly from the main body. There, it's coming apart easily. Set it aside carefully so we can look at the heating unit and wiring. Make sure no wire is still connected before pulling it away completely. Okay, the top assembly is fully separated. Now, here's the part we were looking for, the thermal fuse. This isn't a normal fuse like the one you find in plugs or power boards. It's wrapped in a heat protective sleeve and designed to handle high temperatures, usually up to 250 degrees Celsius. When the air fryer gets too hot, the fuse opens automatically and cuts the current to the heater, preventing damage or fire. That's why it's one of the most important safety components inside any air fryer. We'll carefully unscrew the holder that keeps the fuse in place. Make sure to subscribe for more detailed repair tutorials.
As you can see, the air fryer is almost completely open now. There's still one screw here that we need to remove. Now, if you look closely, you can see the heating element at the bottom and a fan just above it. This fan helps circulate the hot air evenly inside the fryer. To reach the fuse and check it properly, we'll also need to remove this metal plate. So, let's carefully unscrew the plate and take it off to get access to the fuse area. Here you can see that we've removed all the screws. This part here is the protective grill. There's also a nut right here. This is the fan screw, and we'll need to loosen it as well. All right, let's go ahead and open this one carefully too. All right, so here it is. We've taken the cover off, and now we're working inside. The wires here are quite short and very close to each other, so we have to be careful. Now, right here is the thermal fuse. Let's carefully unscrew it. We'll loosen it gently and pull out slowly. There's a small protective sleeve covering it, so we'll slide that back a little to make the fuse visible. You can see the fuse is located just beneath that sleeve. Here it comes out now. This is the thermal fuse. It's a temperature sensitive component that protects the air fryer from overheating. Now, to check whether the fuse is working, we'll set our multimeter to continuity mode and test it carefully. As you can see, there's no continuity. It's open, which means the fuse is completely blown. That confirms the problem. So, we're going to replace it with a brand new thermal fuse. We already have the correct type ready for this model. Let's carefully position it secure it in place, and make sure it's properly fitted before we move on to testing the air fryer again. Here we have the new fuse. It's rated for 250 degrees Celsius and 16 amperes. We'll install it in place of the old one by carefully removing the damaged fuse first. Let's solder it properly in place and ensure all connections are firm. Always keep the new fuse covered with a heat sleeve to avoid direct exposure to hot air. Everything is now reassembled. The new fuse is in place. Let's power it up and test. And yes, the lights are back on, the fan spins, and the heating element works perfectly. So, the issue was simply a burnt thermal fuse, a small component, but absolutely crucial for safety. If your air fryer suddenly stops working, don't throw it away. Most of the time, it's just a tiny fuse like this. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more home appliance repair videos like this one.